As I start to edit existing geometry, I'll need to be able to select objects. Object selection can be done one of two ways. I can either select objects first and then begin an editing command, or I can begin the edit command first and then select objects. To select objects before running a command, I'll typically use a selection window. Selection windows are defined when no command is active by picking points on the screen. If you click your mouse once, you'll begin a selection window. Your command line will then read, specify opposite corner. You'll notice if you move the mouse to the left of your initial point, you'll get a green selection box with a dashed line. If you move your cursor to the right of your initial point, you'll get a blue colored box with a solid white line. These two selection windows are actually different. The green box to the left is referred to as a crossing window, and any objects that touch this line or this box will be selected. The other selection window, the blue one, is just referred to as a selection window. Objects have to be fully enclosed by this window to pick them up. In other words, do a box like this, I'll only get the circles because they were the only objects that were fully enclosed by my selection window. To deselect objects, I can just press escape. Alternatively, I can pick individual objects by hovering over them, clicking the mouse. The default behavior should be that every object you pick is added to your selection set. To remove objects from the selection set, hold shift and click on any selected object. If you'd like to begin your command first, you can do that. So I'll type E for erase, which we'll talk about in just a minute. And I'll notice that in my command line, it says select objects. And if you look at the table in the Selecting Objects section of your book, you'll see all the different options you have here to select objects. So when a command prompts you to select objects, you can do it by window, you can do it by picking objects, you can do it by polygons, by fence. So again, look at that Selecting Objects section of the book to find out all the different ways you can do that. I can tell by my cursor, which you'll also see in that section of the book, that right now I'm in a mode to select individual objects. You can see as I select them, they change to dashed lines. And my command line starts totaling all the objects I have selected. So right now I have three total selected. I'll stay in this Select Objects prompt till I press Return. And once I've selected all the objects I'd like to delete, I can press Enter, and those objects will disappear. Similarly, the other options that are available to you in selecting objects are listed in the book.